Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly how-to video. My name is Lori McNorton, Floral Design Coordinator for Florist Review and Super Floral, and today I'm going to share with you a centerpiece design. Um, it's that season where we're having family get-togethers and lots of people around the table, so I thought what a better time to show how to make um, more of a horizontal centerpiece um, with not so much product. So we're going to kind of extend a couple pieces out for one large arrangement. So we're going to start off with, this is um, a container, well it's kind of a container, it's plastic liner. This is the um, natural bark 8 inch log from Smithers Oasis and I think it's really cool. They come in different sizes. Um, so if you really had a long table for a family setting, these would be perfect. So I put my floral foam in both of those. And so we're going to kind of get a feel for the size of the arrangement. Of course, my table isn't long enough for this, but at least you'll have an idea. So I've got some branches here. And what I'm going to do is I thought it would be fun that's why I left this foam up a little bit, because I'm going to insert into one. There, well, let's go up a little bit into the other. So this is going to make one continuous piece. Now we don't have to do them all that way. We can set some on top there, and I have some greening pins to secure these. So I'm going to do one that way, one this way. Let's pin that one down as well. So we've already extended our centerpiece out to at least four feet here. Okay, then we're gonna add some foliage. And we are using a lot of eucalyptus. We have willow eucalyptus, I've got silver dollar, I've got baby blue. And again, I'm just going to extend some of this out. And I want to, well here, I want to move this because I really want to keep this narrow. Because a lot of times when we're sitting down and having dinner, we don't have enough room on either side for our place setting and things like that. And I really want to be able to see the person on the other side. I want to be able to eat off my plate without the product in it. <laughs> so. Got some seeded eucalyptus. I am going to drape a little bit, but not much. Like I said, we just want enough to hide these edges. Then I've got, I'm going to go with greens today. So I have some green carnations. I have a hydrangea that kind of has the green tint to it. Don't want to block the camera there. So I'm just going to cut these laterals off, tuck those in. I'm just doing two, but could you imagine doing like four of these down the center of a table? I'm going to 
add some green carnations in. Oops, we cut that, broke that one. So let's just tuck it down inside there. Love this color combination. And I'm not doing them the same, each one the same. As you see, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth. All right, another hydrangea that's a little bit more white. I just want to tuck a couple pieces down in. Just some, for some variation here. All right. So I have these cute little succulents. These are um, a webbed and chick and I think these would be a great texture and color to add to the centerpiece. So here I've wired and taped and I'm just going to show you real quickly what I've done. All I'm going to do is hairpin this. So I'm going to go up through the center, hairpin it over, and then tape and wire. And these do not require water to last as long as they will need to. And once you're done with the centerpiece, be sure to take those out, put them in the ground. They'll continue to grow. That's the cool thing about the succulents. So I'm just going to add, I'm going to group a couple of them together like this, and then maybe one over here just for some interest, like they're tucked down in. Okay, let's see, I have a couple more carnations. Might as well use them up. I'm trying to make sure I've got all my, I can't just turn this around and look at it like sometimes I, do, I normally do. So we're just going to add that in. Okay. That. I've got, like I said, we've got eucalyptus today. <laughs> so I've got some long pieces of the baby blue. So I'm just kind of use those to extend this out even more. I'm going to have this one kind of draping over. Actually, just so we can see this. I want this one draping over. And then we're going to bring this one back over to this side. Then let's see, maybe a couple more pieces. You go like this. Just for some height, a little, not real high. We still want to be able to see over the table, but this will give it a little bit of dimension here. And then I also want to bring just a little bit down on the bottom. And we can even work that in to the twigs. All right, so far so good. I thought about adding a little bit of color. This limonium is really incredible. Now yeah, let's just do it. We're just gonna do it. I just want a touch of color. Color and texture, that's what it's all about here. little bit down front here. There we 
go. Let's make sure that's all I've got for fresh. Then I want to add, since, it, since I'm thinking a centerpiece, let's add some ambiance. So I'm going to add just a couple candles in here, a couple pillars. I just want to kind of tuck those in. Two more. All right, and they don't have to be exactly the same by any means. And then to finish it off, I just thought, why not tuck a couple pine cones in? Now, wouldn't that be a beautiful setting down a long table for a Thanksgiving dinner or any dinner? Thank you for joining us. Be sure to come back next week. Be sure to check out Florist Review Magazine. Thank you. See you next week.